paper. The paint. I've chosen four different colours for my four flowers that I'm going to be doing. And then the two shades of green is for the grass and the stem, and the leaves of the flower. Then I've got these different paint brushes, four different paint brushes for each colour, and I've got four forms for each colour. Okay, so which colour should we start with first? Hmm, let's start with pink. I know some of you really, really love pink. Who loves pink? So, we are going to paint the fork pink. Okay? This is the pink fork. So, I will only use pink on this fork. Okay? Each color has its own special fork. Please do not mix the colors. So, I'm going to start with pink. I'm going to push flower. Then that is good. And teacher Cindy will be very happy with you. Done. Next, I'm going to do dark blue. Okay, I'm going to paint up and down, up and down. And remember, when you're painting your fork, make sure that you don't hold it over the page. Hold it next to the page in case you mess. Okay, so then you still have a nice, beautiful page. I'm going to push down and back, back and forth like that. There we go. Time, you always give us beautiful flowers. Did you see really misses getting flowers from you guys? I can't wait to come back to school. Okay, so here's another blue flower. Stamp, done. Now, I'm going to use my finger to do the stem and the leaf of the flower. Okay, so just like this. Nice long stroke. If you don't have enough paint on your finger, you can go back. No problem. So I'm just going to start with the stem only. This part is called the stem. Going up like this and down. Again up and down. Up and down. So you can mix it in. I'm using a different finger now. I'm going to mix it in. In between the grass to make it look more like real grass, okay? You know you have grass outside. And then, now I'm done with my garden. I'm going to turn it around for you. So now I've got three different <coughs> of flowers in my garden. I hope that you enjoyed doing this art activity with me today. And don't forget to wash your hands. I'm sure your fingers are really dirty. Don't touch your face. Please wash your hands carefully. And when your painting is dry, you can write your name on it. You can ask mommy or daddy or granny or grandpa to help you write your name on your painting. And put it somewhere nice. Bye-bye.